All right, so chat's open. I've got it switched over to everybody. So again, if you guys can go in, um, tell me where you're from, a little bit about uh, your company, what you're looking for. And uh, as we're going through this presentation if uh, or this webinar, if you guys have any specific questions, go ahead and put those in the chat. And then if you have any particular questions, uh, you go ahead and put those in the Q&A. Um, and then, uh, like I said earlier, we are recording this. Um, if somebody can't make the whole presentation, then we will, uh, I, I'd be happy to uh, email it over to you afterwards. So um, there was a little bit of confusion on the, some of the posts that I'd posted. I had made the mistake of putting the, the 24th instead of the 25th, uh, but I said Friday. So sorry about that. Sorry for confusion, uh, but we will host this again. Uh, this has been a pretty, um, this has been a, a, a request, I mean, a requested uh, webinar. Uh, everything's all about AI recently, chat GPT and so forth. So we're going to go through this. Uh, say chat is still disabled. I'm saying it's got everybody. So not sure what on that. Go ahead and put it in the question and answer if you want. Uh, and then I can go in there and put it in there. So, um, but uh, on my end, it's showing as uh, I've got everybody uh, available. So uh, let me flip it again, try it one more time. Hello. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. This one, uh, it's telling me that uh, it's everybody's on. So, uh, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, if you can't get it on the webinar chat, uh, I'll address that with Zoom and find out why that wasn't working. Um, but we can go ahead on the Q&A. So uh, let's get started. Uh, like I said, uh, if you can't uh, log into chat, go ahead and put it in the question and answers, and then we'll go that route. Um, but on my end, it's showing that uh, everybody should be able to, to do a webinar chat but uh, not sure where that's not working. Let me see if there's another. Yeah, that's everything. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. All right, all right. Welcome Emily from Al Albany, New York, uh, Ace Home Inspections. Um, yeah, you should hopefully we'll teach you a little bit today. I, uh, as I've been building this presentation, I've uh, learned a little bit as myself. So um, let me go through this. So basically, uh, the presentation using artificial intelligence in your marketing, uh, and I'm going to go through some of this stuff. So what we're going to cover in this um, presentation is um, uh, the main topics are going to be understanding artificial intelligence. We're going to go over uh, writing content. Uh, we'll go over how to plan out some social media posts using AI. Uh, I'll tell you specifically how uh, I'm doing it. Um, I own two companies. Uh, one of them is uh, Hoopla CRM. Uh, some of you might have heard uh, about us. And then uh, I actually have a home inspection company in Southern California as well. So I'm using it for both. And we're using uh, we're using AI to do our social uh, posts, uh, writing our content, as well as um, uh, working on a website. We're we're revamping our website for Hoopla, so we're using it for that as well. And then at the end, I'll give you a little bit a uh, bonus material that you can take a look at. So some of the um, stuff that we're going to go over, like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in there. Uh, hey, Erica Olson, marketing for a home inspection company in Phoenix. Welcome. Uh, Sarah with Warren. Uh, I know uh, your boss is there. They're awesome people. Are they are they in Florida or are they in uh, Massachusetts now? Let's see here. So let's go into the next section. So nice to meet you. First of all, uh, my name is Scott Knutson. I'm the owner of Hoopla, an online marketing agency in Orange County, California. My background is uh, we've got I've got over 20 years marketing businesses from startups to Fortune 500 companies. I worked for a large call center company prior to starting a home inspection company about 20 years ago. So did uh, marketing uh, from startups to Fortune 500 companies for about 10 years uh, before I started a home inspection company and went out on my own. About a year ago, I started looking for a CRM that I wanted to. Um, used for my home inspection company, and I wasn't really able to find one that did everything that I needed it to do. And so uh, I uh, hired some developers, 
went out, told them what I needed and came up with a uh, hoopla. So with that, uh, recently we've added um, the uh, AI content writer into our plans. And so um, this is kind of the, the what everybody's uh, interested in. They want to see it. They want to use it. Some people may have already signed up with um, chat GPT and have tested that out and so forth. Um, but I'm going to show you how we've integrated it into our software. And then I will give you some uh, examples on some other companies that you can use as well that uh, may or may not uh, work as well, maybe more expensive, maybe less. Uh, but, you know, it's not all going to be about Hoopla. It's going to be about how you can uh, use it, uh, AI for writing marketing content. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Sarah and oh, they're in Florida. Good. Yep. Uh, Richard, home inspector in the DMV area. Is that Dallas Metro? I'm assuming Dallas Metro. Not sure on the DMV. Uh, let's see here. Anybody else? Sorry, guys. I'm not sure what's up with the chat. It's uh, it's telling me everything. Everybody's got access. It says host or panels and then everyone. So, all right. Um, and so... Uh, with that, um, the software that we have, it's a proven marketing and sales automation services. It can handle SMS texting. It can handle social media planning, uh, AI, email marketing, SEO, and more. So we're going to go through all this. Uh, I tried to, uh, you know, when I was building this presentation, I don't know if anybody's ever used Canva to build um, presentations, but highly recommend it, uh, especially if you have the Canva Pro version. Um it's so much easier, so much better than anything I've ever used before. PowerPoint was just clunky. Uh, I built this presentation um, probably an hour and a half, two hours, uh, once I had it all written out. And uh, yeah, so uh, as far as the robots go, I could have uh, done some ones that uh, didn't look as friendly and scared people. So uh, I kind of made them a little bit more friendly. So you'll see what I'm talking about on some of the different ones. So so first of all, what is uh, what exactly is artificial intelligence? So uh, artificial intelligence is intelligence perceiving, synthesizing, and inferring information demonstrated by machines as opposed to intelligence displayed by non-human animals and humans. Example tasks in which this is done include speech recognition, computer vision, translation between natural languages, and other mappings of outputs. Um, some examples of that, uh, speech recognition. Um, we've been using AI for quite some time now. Um, for example, Siri uh, on Apple. Uh, that's been out for, geez, five, six, seven years. Uh, I don't personally use it, but I've noticed on my Apple TVs that, uh, you know, now, for example, I can go in there with my remote and this might be working on other TVs, but I can basically, once I get to a, an app that I'm on, I can just look for this program by just holding down a button and saying, you know, what program I'm looking for. Um, my 80 year old parents, they were here about a month ago and it didn't take them very long to, to learn uh, the remote on how to find the programs that they were looking for. So um, another thing I just noticed this morning is I have uh, Alexa for uh, in, in certain rooms, uh, one of them is in my uh, master bath. And so uh, I can use it. I can basically say, you know, Alexa play, um, you know, NPR or, you know, uh, you know, satellite radio. I can, you know, have it do different uh, topics. And um, that's, that's a version of AI. So um, I travel quite a bit. So um, when I'm overseas, um, you know, it's been nice because a lot of the places now, uh, especially in the tourist areas, you can, uh, you know, most of them will speak English, but there have been times where I, I just, I can't communicate even verbally and have been able to open up Google Translate and um, basically speak into it, say what I want, turn it around, show it to them. I mean, some of them will actually spit it out in Spanish, for example. Um, so, you know, that's another um, uh, version of AI. I'm going to check these uh, questions and answers. So, so Canva, yep, Canva's awesome. Like I said, it's uh, um, if you're not using it for your social media, uh, well done. Uh, another thing that I, I can give you tips on is that uh, if you're doing social media posts, um, you can actually go onto Etsy and uh, look for social media post templates. And what's nice about it is that when you buy it, you know, I, I think I, the other day I bought um, 
a hundred, what was it? A hundred money motivational quotes um, for like seven bucks. And once I downloaded it, I clicked on the link and it opens right into Canva and I can modify uh, the colors. I can modify, you know, put my logos in there. Uh, and, you know, within a half an hour, uh, I have a hundred money motivational posts that I can just upload uh, through our system. So, um, but anyway, can anybody else think of any other uh, examples of AI that we've been using for a while now that, uh, yeah, cause I know people are kind of like, you know, everybody kind of talks about AI and they think, oh my gosh, I robot, the uh, robots are going to take over. I mean, I think that's a, a valid concern, especially if you've ever seen I Ro robot or Terminator or any of those other ones. But it's definitely uh, a lot of people have concerns about it. So, um, but it, like I said, it's been out for a while. Um, there's been some uh, positive uh, feedback and there's been some negative since the chat GPT has come out, uh, but it's here. It's, uh, it's, it's an exciting time. So uh, that goes into our uh, next quote here. Um, this is by Colin Angle. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how society deals with artificial intelligence, but it will definitely be cool. Um, I heard somebody talk the other day that uh, this is probably the biggest technology advance uh, since the iPhone. Whether that's true or not, uh, you know, it, it's when you see what it can do, it's it's amazing that uh, the technology is out there. So let's see here. So let's move into the next one. Uh, so how is it used today? So I'm going to go through some of these. Um, we're, we are going to go through and show you uh, how... Uh, a lot of this stuff works, uh, but I want to go through how it's used today. So first one, speak recognition. It is also known as automatic speak recognition, uh, ASR, if anybody's ever heard that. Computer speech recognition or speak speech to text, and it's a capability that uses natural language processing to process human speech into a written format. Many mobile devices incorporate speech recognition into their systems to conduct voice searches, uh, I uh, example Siri or provide more accessibility around texting. Um, you know, the two examples I mentioned earlier, Siri, uh, you've got uh, Alexa, you've got um, uh, what else is there? You've got, you know, you like your Apple TV. Oh, looks like Alexa's behind me thinking I'm talking to her. So um, next one, customer service. Uh, and, and again, if there's any examples that you guys can think of, go ahead and post it in here. So yeah, Google. Uh, Google as uh, I think their version uh, of because it's going to be Bing and then Google I think Google is going to call theirs Bart and I I heard the other day that um, I don't remember what uh, news station I heard it on but they were saying that uh, Google had to get theirs out quick I mean they've been working on this for years and so they um, I guess they wanted to get something out because uh, Bing was ahead of them and they released something about, and again, I don't know exactly the whole thing about something about, they asked us specific questions about uh, uh, space and um, the, the, the information that it came back. I think there was like four bullet points that it came back and one of the bullet points was wrong. And just by having that issue, Google uh, had lost like billions of dollars on that one day by that one error that it had made. So again, it's not perfect, um, but it is progressing. Um, so it is uh, what's going to be used moving forward on a lot of this stuff. So uh, it'd be interesting how many people's jobs uh, are lost by this uh, or repositioned. You know, um, I know that, um, like I said, I travel a lot. I'm on a lot of these uh, um uh, nomad sites on Facebook. And a lot of those, you know, they, there are a lot of those people are content writers. A lot of them are social media marketers. A lot of them do that type of stuff as freelancers and they're all nervous. So uh, if I was one of them, I would get on the train and uh, learn everything I could about AI uh, and then become the expert on it. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do with this is I'm trying to bring this in to small businesses to they can uh, utilize this and speed up their process, their marketing. So, uh, so customer service, online virtual, virtual agents are replacing human agents along the customer journey. 
They answer frequently asked questions, FAQs about shipping, providing personalized advice, cross-selling products, suggesting sizes for users, and changing how we think about customer engagement across websites and social media platforms. So uh, examples include messaging bots on e-commerce sites with virtual agents, messaging apps such as Slack and Facebook Messenger, and tasks usually done by virtual assistants and voice assistants. So uh, I don't know if anybody's ever uh, gone on to... Uh, um, you know, Amazon, for example, uh, if I type in a product that I'm looking for, I always scroll down and see what it recommends because there's some other products that might be the exact same um, uh, product, but might be cheaper, might be able to get to me quicker, uh, might have a better return policy, uh, has better reviews or more reviews. That's what I'm looking for is typically if I look at a product and one of them's got 70 reviews and the other one's got 1700, probably going to go with the 1700 if it's the same price. So, um, you know, that's, that's how the AI technology is on these websites. Also, if you've ever been on a Shopify website, and you've been buying clothes from these um, uh, smaller retailers, uh, a lot of that has, you know, they, they do that automatically where uh, if you're buying a shirt, it automatically suggests uh, additional shirts or jeans or hats that you can wear with it. And it pops it up so you can actually, it's trying to get you to buy more. Let's see if there's any other questions. Dang it, I wish this webinar chat was working, guys. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to check these questions and answers from time to time, make sure I've got everything on here. Uh, also, computer vision. This AI technology enables computers and systems to derive meaningful information from digital images, videos, and other visual inputs. And based on those inputs, it can take action. Uh, this ability to provide recommendations distinguish it from image recognition tasks powered by convolutional neural networks. Computer vision has applications within tagging and social media, radiology, imaging, and healthcare, and self-driving cars with automotive uh, industry. Um, you know, I won't mention too much about the uh, radiology, imaging, and healthcare. I don't know much about that, um, but I think everybody's well aware of uh, Tesla and their self-driving cars. And it's not only Tesla. Um, I've driven rental cars that are starting to have some of the same features as uh, some of the Tesla cars. Um, they might not have the the, the self-driving mode, but um, you know, for example, uh, a lot of the new cars have the um, you know, if you're in cruise control, you can set it to keep you a certain amount of distance behind the car in front of you. Uh, you can set it to where you want to be two car links, you can be three car links. And based off of that, it will keep you if you're in cruise control, uh, it'll keep you that certain distance behind that car. So you don't have to come right up, up on top of it. So uh, also uh, the lane changing. Uh, I noticed a car I rented the other day that every time I turned into a new lane and I didn't signal, it kind of was wanting to keep me in the lane until I actually turned that turn signal on and then it was freely able to move over. So um, that's uh, an example of how AI is working. Um, let's see what else. Um, image recognition. Um, my, you know, I'm, I'm not a big thing on these visual inputs, but um, I did uh, one of the recent credit cards that I signed up for um, had me, what was it? Uh, what's that? Um, is it clear when you're at the airports uh, where you can actually skip the uh, security line? And what they do is they will actually come and grab you, walk you straight up to where you're getting your passport checked or your ID checked. Uh, and then you get right in front of everybody. So uh, it came as a perk. I think it reimbursed me for like three years. Um, I thought, what the heck? You know, I, I don't want to have to get the global and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, part of it was, you know, the fingerprinting process and then the eye recognition. And so now what I do is when I go up to the clear, uh, I just basically, you know, put my eyes in there scans it. I mean, they're going to get your eye scan at some point, um, but scans my eyes, boom. I don't even have to show my ID. I go straight through. So uh, that's another uh, uh, AI technology that we're, we're seeing. Um, let's see, recommended engines. Let's see, using past consumption behavioral data, AI algorithms uh, can help discover data trends that can be used to develop more effective cross-selling strategies. I think we talked about that on some of these clothing websites. Uh, this is used to make relevant add-on recommendations to customers during the checkout process for online retailers. Um, 
I see this all the time on Facebook. Uh, wherever I click on, uh, say, for example, if I, or even on Google, if I uh, type in, for example, AI, when I'm doing this, you know, creating this presentation, before you know it, all my pages that I'm on, I start seeing advertisements. So, um, and some of them are advertisements of companies that I actually researched, and some of them are, you know, uh, competitors. So uh, that's part of my AI. Uh, automated stock trading. Uh, designed to optimize stock portfolios, AI-driven higher frequency trading platforms make thousands or even millions of daily trades without human intervention. Um, I have all my, um, I, you know, I'm not a big stock trader, but I do have uh, IRAs and so forth. And uh, I use a company called Betterment. And basically, uh, you know, I there's like a... You know, they, they, they give you recommendations on, on, you know, how much you're actually putting in, you know, you basically say, how old am I? When do I want to retire by? And then it makes a recommendation of uh, how aggressive you need to be on your stock uh, purchases. So um, basically, you know, they, if you want to be conservative, you can tone it down a little bit. If you want to be more aggressive and basically you can change it at any, at any moment, you know, I can go into betterment right now and say, Hey, I want to push uh, 70% of everything that I've got into this stock um, and they can do it, you know? So it's, uh, you know, a lot of that's done. So Oh, uh, see any other questions? Let's see. Um, so content writing, let's get into the content writing. So how can I, AI be used for content writing? Uh, blogs, uh, you know, I'll show you the software here in a second, but we can use it for blogs, um, video scripts. Um, I know TikTok's big right now. Uh, so you can actually go in and say, all right, what kind of video uh, script do I want to create? Um you know, those are always hard to think of how you're going to do it. So you could go in there and type in uh, some search terms and say, all right, uh, I'm a home inspector. I want to do uh, uh, some videos on mold inspections. Uh, and you can type that in and then it'll give you some ideas. Uh, web content. If you're building a website, you could actually go in there and have it create some of the content for you. Uh, you can build sales funnels with it. Again, uh, a sales funnel is basically uh, a website. Uh, it's the same thing. It just funnels you into making a purchase. Uh, you can create emails, marketing emails with this. You can create emails, um, responses. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Uh, social media posts. Uh, we've been doing some of this recently with social media posts. Uh, you can write articles. And you can also do presentations. So I didn't build this presentation with AI, uh, but you could do presentations as well. So um, let's say, all right, so who wants to blog post? Let's go into the software first here. So I'm going to go into, uh, this is the dashboard of Hoopla. Um, here is the AI content generator. Now keep in mind that, um, let me see if I can get this screen blown up a little bit. Keep in mind that um, uh, it's very popular right now. So a lot of people are always trying to get in. Uh, sometimes you hear people that are like, oh, I can't always get in. Uh, you know, it, it kicks me out or I can't stay in it. Um, you know, I've experienced it. It happens. Um, usually um, what happens is, is that uh, it just, it takes for a while. Well, sometimes I'll just reboot. Um, but um, in this instance, since this is a live webinar, uh, if for whatever reason we have issues with it, uh, I have re pre-recorded a video that we can watch um, to show you some of these features, but we're gonna go ahead and try to do this live um, and uh, go through this. So uh, first thing that we uh, will do on this, and I'm gonna give you some examples is um, uh, in home inspections, uh, we deal with a lot of real estate agents. So uh, with this, um, you could probably market to them and say, hey, listen, um, you know, start using us and we'll, you know, do your generate your real estate listing descriptions. So in this, you can actually go in here and let's, I've got some pre-copied content so I can uh, just copy and paste it. So I'm just going to go copy uh, from my notepad. I'm going to go paste. So basically this uh, real estate listing is uh, 724 North Santiago Street, Santa Ana, California. One bedroom, one bathroom, modern live, work, live loft, new paint, new flooring, floor to ceiling windows. That's what we're going to put in there as a listing description. So uh, not something you'd probably put on a listing if you're an agent, but let's see what it kicks out. So you just hit generate. Pretty 
pretty quick. So let's read through this. Uh, this modern work live loft at 724 Santiago Street, Santa Ana, California is a great investment for anyone looking for a one bedroom, one bathroom living space. The loft has just been updated with new paint, new flooring, and floor to ceiling windows that let in plenty of natural light. As a work live unit, the loft offers a perfect combination of living and working space. The layout is open and airy with plenty of room to create cozy living area as well as a separate workspace. You also enjoy easy access to major highways and public transportation, making it easy to explore all that Santa Ana has to offer. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to live and work in a modern loft in one of California's most vibrant cities. Pretty good. I couldn't have written that. You know, uh, again, uh, there might be some spelling areas. You know, you could take a software program. Uh, what am I using here? Um, usually, if I'm, I don't think I'm using, um, let's see, no, I'm using it. Yeah, so basically what you could do is I have uh, Grammarly running in the background uh, on my, uh, right here, you can see it right here. So let me see if that clicks up. Uh, it's just a plug-in. I think it's $120, $150 a year. Uh, another highly recommended app. Uh, along with Canva is Grammarly, uh, basically checks everything for you. So, uh, so you could, you know, if you have some top agents, you could say, Hey, you know, send me over your listing. Uh, it takes you five seconds. You know, it doesn't take very long to do this a couple minutes tops. And you could say, Hey, whenever you got a new listing, send me over the, um, uh, brief information and I'll create the real estate listing description for you. Uh, one way you could use it. So um, let's go over to another one. Let's go into um, uh, who wants a blog post. Um, we have started using this. As soon as I added this um, feature to our uh, software, I uh, uh, immediately, I, I think we added it on a Thursday. And over the weekend, I was able to write, I mean, just sitting, you know, watching TV, watching football. Uh, I think it might have been the, the championship weekend for the divisional playoffs or one of those wild car weekends. Um, basically had my laptop on, had it on, you know, and I was just going in there and thinking, all right, what kind of blogs could I write? And I just started writing. And I think over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, uh, I think I, and, and you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from watching the games, I wrote like 30 blog posts and I wasn't spending all day doing it. Um, I was just, as I would come up with the topic, I would say, all right, that's a good blog post. And so I went in there and wrote a bunch of these blog posts. So let me go in here to, um, let's see, I've got my, this is my WordPress on the back end um, of our website. So here's, this is the, um, oops, let me hit save. I was testing it out, or testing it out earlier. So um, basically, um, here's the website, just so you know, that's a, you know, one of our real, real websites. And then what we do is just go in here to go to post. Um, I'm just going to go in here and go all posts so you can see some of the examples that I've done. Uh, estimating the lifespan of the water heater, uh, how to maintain your water softener, uh, how to clean your washer and dryer, how to fix double pane window condensation, how to clean your front load washer, uh, how do you clean a front load washing machine. So I've got actually two in there because uh, I've uh, probably uh, had an issue. I had my, I, I saw some of that mold around the front rings. So I went on there. Uh, our sewer scope's worth it. So uh, the reason why I posted this one here is I'm going to give you a quick little tip here in a second um, on how you can come up with article ideas. Uh, but let's go into the content writer. Where is it here? Um, let's see. All right. So on the blog posting, we're going to go back into, uh, we're going to go back. And again, here's some of the examples that you can do. Uh, you can do uh, Google ads, copy, Facebook ads, copy, generate email newsletter, Correct your grammar, uh, ask me a question, generate content ideas, product name generator, uh, generate a video script for TikTok, uh, generate abandoned copy, event plan. I know some of these have just been added. Uh, create a job description uh, and generate review responses. So before I do a blog post, I'm going to do some of these other ones because I like the blog posts um, until later. So let's do a uh, review response. So um, if you're getting any type of reviews, positive or negative, highly, highly recommend that you respond to every one of those. 
uh, whether it be positive or uh, negative. Um, don't be the person that uh, gets combative uh, and tries to argue with them on the reviews because customers read that. Uh, you know, they, if you have a good response, you can turn that negative review into a positive. So I'm not going to do a negative one, but I'm going to do one here uh, on an actual one that we've received recently. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what it is. So basically the review says after several companies came in and barely checked for moisture in the walls of my apartment, Signature did a much more thorough job finding where we had water damage that needed to be addressed. Robert was friendly, helpful, and gave me some reassurance that our landlord would have to address what we're dealing with. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that into the review here. And then I'm just going to call this guy Steve. That's his name. Hit generate. And within a few seconds, uh, here's the response. Hi, Steve. Uh, thank you so much for your positive review of Signature. It's great to hear that Robert was friendly and helpful and did such a thorough job of finding the water damage. We strive to provide our customers with top-notch service and are glad that we were able to help you out. Thanks again, Steve. Have a great day. So from here, you can just copy and paste and uh, in your review, whether it be Yelp, Google, Facebook, you can go in there. Uh, if you don't like that one, you can hit, uh, you know, you can redo it just by hitting this button up here. Uh, so that's one way you can, you know, generate. And then we do it. Every time I get a review, I come in here and I just automatically generate that because I don't want to do the same review response over and over. Um, and, you know, if you get enough reviews on a regular basis, uh, this makes your uh, mix a lot quicker. Um, let's go into if you're going to do um, Facebook content, for example. So if you're going to make a Facebook post um, or an ads copy, if you want. So we're going to go in here and uh, so let's type the name of your service. So let's just type in, um, let's see, who have we got here that's in here? Let's do Warren Home Inspections. All right, and then the review, let's see, I'm gonna put in mold and air quality inspections. And then I'm just gonna hit generate. And you can do this for whatever service that you're offering. Um, you could even do a service on the, uh, uh, like I was saying earlier about the, the listing descriptions, you could promote that. So uh, here it is pretty quick. Are you concerned about the quality of your home's indoor air? At Warren Home Inspections, our comprehensive mold and indoor air quality inspections will give you peace of mind. Our experienced team of professionals are equipped to detect and identify any potential problems quickly and accurately. Contact us today to schedule your inspection and get the insurance that you and your family are living in a safe, healthy home. Even create some hashtags, indoor air quality, mold inspection, peace of mind, Warren Home Inspections. So um, I use this all the time. If I can't come up with a post or what I'm thinking of, uh, I, I'll just pop this in. So um, in our software, uh, we do have um, uh, a, a social media planner. Uh, so I'll show you this really quickly. So um, I have to switch over to my account. Let's see, signature. And uh, here's everything. So basically what I would do is I would just go create new post and then I would just copy and paste that content. So I can go in here and I can schedule uh, five posts, uh, you know, to different uh, social media networks, uh, paste the content, for example, and um, go in here. And um, I've got a bunch of uh, uh, images already set up in here. So I could go in here and grab one of these images. And uh, there you go. And then from here, you can, uh, you know, put your call to action button and then you can go in here and schedule the post. So, um, you know, it, I think I'm scheduled. If I if I wanted to go back in here, I could go uh, open planner. Uh, I'm scheduled out until the, the fourth. I think I'm further out. I, I did a bunch yesterday. So uh, out till the ninth. So I've got posts all the way out to the ninth. And uh, I, you know, did that with it probably in an hour to schedule all these. So uh, if it ever gets slow and I get behind, you know, I start thinking, oh, I got to get caught up. I can go in there and build these. And again, some of these images are just taken off of uh, Etsy. So uh, let's go back into the AI writer. 
All right, the next one, uh, again, if you guys have any questions, let me know, uh, or if you want me to try anything. Um, does anybody have a blog post uh, that they want to want me to do when I get to that point? Uh, let's see here. All right, so uh, we're going to go over that one again on the blog post. Uh, the name of my company, again, is Google, this software that we're using. Um, so we've done the social media post. Let's see what else we've we done. So let's go back over here to the um, the blog post. Let me get back into the software. Uh, next one is we're going to do uh, a blog post. So uh, we're going to go over here where it says blog and article writing. Uh, we can generate content ideas or you can do an article. So on this one, let's do um, how let's do that. Um, how to maintain let's how how to clean your front load washer. All right. So I'm going to type in the subject of the article uh, and then uh, I'm going to I'm going to target this towards homeowners. Um, because those are probably the people that are going to be reading this mostly. If you were doing an article that you wanted to target to real estate agents, you would just put a uh, realtor here. Um, you can do it, whatever, but I'm just going to type in home owner. And then uh, word count, I'll shoot for 1500. <clears throat> uh, standard blog posts, they typically want to see at least 300, uh, 500 uh is usually what i try to shoot for uh, but what i do is i type in 1500 because it doesn't always give me exactly 1500 sometimes it's a shorter one so let's go in here and generate this one hit generate these take a little bit longer to go while that's kicking off, I'm going to go in and show you guys a little tip here. Um, if you've ever want need ideas on, on what to write, uh, here's a little tip for you. Go in and type in the search. And when you type that in, it's going to show you uh, what the, the most common questions are that people are asking on that topic. So if we just wanted to go into... Uh, front load washer, for example, uh, you go in here and say, all right, what are the problems with front load washers? Uh, and again, if you click on these, it starts to open up even more. Um, here's a few more. Um, and so just with that one little uh, trick, here you go. You've got a good 20 uh, or more post ideas. So what are the problems with front load washers? which is better front or top load? Uh, do all front load washers have mold problems? Uh, do front load washers wash better? Uh, so let's see that one. I don't wanna have to type this in cause I'm lazy. Let's see if we can grab that. All right, let's see if this one's been done. All right, so here's the uh, article here. Uh, not bad. So let's go through this really quickly. Uh, most homeowners today have front load washer in their home. These machines are incredibly efficient and save a lot of time and money, but they require regular cleaning and maintenance to sure blah, blah, blah. Before beginning, gather necessary replies. Again, always want to go through this and read this and check it to make sure, because again, AI is not perfect. Uh, not yet anyway, uh, but it gives you a good starting point. If you don't want to use this, at least it gives you some good starting point. Uh, when I was in college, I wrote a lot of papers. I was really good at writing, but did I like it? No. Uh, did I have a lot of time? No. Um, and this is something that I don't really like to do, but I know that it's important that I should be writing at least one blog a week. Um, if you do that on a regular basis, you're going to build that organic traffic back to your site because Google loves new content. So uh, this is a good way to do it. So what I would do from here is I'm going to actually do the one that we just grabbed from here. So I want to say, do all front load washers have mold problems? Let's see what it says here. Let's uh, hit this one. And we'll go back and change that uh, to this one and then hit generate. Again, any questions? Again, dang it, I wish that freaking chat was working. All right, so here we go. So what I would do from here is, is I would just grab this 
And then I would go into my WordPress. So I'm going to say, all right, let's do a new post. And then I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to go and, you know, whoever your website is, you'd be able to change it if you want. But I'm going to go in here and change the uh, uh, this is going to be my post title automatically updates the link. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab this. Copy and paste it. And then because I've got Grammarly running in the background, it's going to uh, check everything for me. So, and it may rewrite some of the sentences, you know, to make it more grammar, you know, to make the grammar correct. Um, but basically, let's go through this. Mold problems and front load washers are common, but not necessarily unavoidable. But not necessarily unavoidable. Uh, the, for homeowners, understanding the causes of mold buildup and front load washers and taking the steps to prevent it can help prevent these appliances uh, free of mold and functioning properly for years. Mold can grow in front load washers for already reasons. Kind of, you know, like I said, we're not going to spend all the time on this, but basically with Grammarly running in the background, I can open it up here and I can go through here and I can start reading this and say, all right, we're going to fix that. Uh, we're going to put the comma, uh, we're going to take the comma out there. We're going to fix that. Uh, we're going to change the word from properly to correctly. Uh, we're going to change the front load. We're going to um, take out that. Uh, we're going to change the front load. We're going to change it from right to correct. Uh, we're going to change that and then correct. And then I just kind of go through this process of changing this. And uh, basically, here we go. Uh, it's addressed all the issues. Uh, again, you'd want to check this to make sure. Uh, and then from what I do to make this SEO friendly is I'm going to grab an image. I'm going to put the image in. So if I wanted to put one here, I would just go add media. I'm just going to give you an example for here. I'm going to say, all right, let's go grab this image here. And then insert into post. There's my image because uh, they want images. And then from here, uh, I'm going to use, uh, I have a Yoast SEO plugin. Uh, that basically will check everything to make sure that this is as optimized for SEO as I can. So here, everything in green is telling me that it's done good. Transition words, paragraph, consecutive sentences, everything's good here. Uh, it's recommended me that 50% uh, of the sentences contain more than 20 words, which is more than recommended, maximum of 25. So you could actually go in here and try to shorten the sentences. Uh, subheading distribution, distribution is basically uh, changing the subheading. And then passive voice, I don't spend too much time on this um, because it's just content. Uh, and then typically what it wants you to do is um, you, you ideally should create a link uh, in your post that actually goes to another spot in your website. So if I go washer, uh, I can uh, create a link to another page in my WordPress site. And then I would want to create one that goes out. Uh, so if I wanted to put a, uh, a link here, I would, you know, create link. And then what I do is, is I have an uh, Amazon associates account to where I'm like an affiliate. So what I do is I can, uh, once you set up that account, um, it's like an affiliate program. So if somebody clicks on that link uh, and somebody buys from Amazon, um, I think it places a cookie on their website to where anything that they buy, uh, you'll get a commission off of it. It's not a lot, but I would say I probably get about $100 a month. Uh, through all the posts and stuff that I've done, not on just home inspection, but anytime somebody uh, uh, is asking for something on Facebook and they're saying, hey, I'm looking for this, I'll go into my Amazon account on my phone, uh, click on the link, post it on Facebook. And as soon as they click on it, then for the next two days, uh, if they buy anything on Amazon, I'll get a, a commission from it. However, if they click on somebody else's link, then that one will override mine. So uh, there's people that are getting paid uh, all the time and you might not even know it on the back end. So uh, that's called Amazon Associates, I think, affiliate program. So uh, we even embed that into our home inspection reports. So if somebody, uh, you know, we get that question a lot, you know, like, where can I buy a damper clamp? And I get so tired of, uh, you know, responding to those messages that I actually will put a link in there to where they can actually go to Amazon and buy a damper clamp. And if they buy it through Amazon, then I'll get a little percentage of it. So uh, we've done that on our side uh, as well. So you can do that in some of your inspection reports as well. Have any questions about that? Feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to share that with you. Uh, so basically, this is the blog post. So once we're done with that, then I just go over here and I can schedule it or I can publish it now. Uh, and then boom, it goes out. So again, AI makes that process a lot quicker.
So let's go back into here. Uh, social media posts, I think we showed that. Um, I'm going to show you a couple companies that, uh, you know, I, I don't know much about, but I just kind of want to go over some alternatives. But there's there's AI companies, software out there that can do a lot of this stuff. So, for example, let me go through here. Uh, I'm going to switch over. Uh, this is Bostero. So I've never subscribed to them. I just know that uh, this is a website that um, let's see. looks like they've updated their page since this morning. All right, so uh, I'm just going to kind of go in here and kind of give you an idea of what this company does. And I'm just going to play the, the video, so bear with me. How much time do you spend brainstorming, creating, and publishing content to your various social media pages each day? Even superheroes need a site. With Social Sidekick by Bolstrew, you can generate social posts in seconds with cutting-edge AI technology and distribute content to all of your platforms at once. No more scouring the web for stock images or inspiration. Simply provide a topic and watch Sidekick magically generate an image and caption. For a more hands-off approach, we even offer custom content delivery weekly and fully automated post code. But don't worry, you're always in the driver's seat, reviewing and editing content as necessary before it goes out. Sound too good to be true? Well, there's more. You can use Social Sidekick completely free to create up to 10 AI-generated posts per month. Take your new Sidekick for a spin today at bolstermove.com. So again, you know, you can do that in uh, various softwares. I'm not necessarily sure if you have to really sign up for that kind of stuff. I, you know, 10 posts a month. I'm sure there's a catch somewhere, but again, you know, it's uh, there's, there's companies out there that are already capitalizing on uh, this new technology. Uh, and this is not something, I mean, I think chat GPT uh, came out in November and we're only in February. And so yeah, I don't know about you guys, but my social media posts have been just not my posts, but my feed has just been uh, loaded down with this kind of stuff. So uh, let's go over to Bostero. Um, who wants a website? So again, you can actually build websites uh, with this. So uh, give you an example here. Let's go back over to uh, Hoopla uh, content generator. Um, you know, there's other ones out there. There's, you know, there's Jarvis, there's write.io, I think. Um, I, you know, I looked into Jarvis a while back and it was pretty expensive. And I just, you know, I think it might've come down since then, but, uh, you know, I'm just like, I, what do I need to do the same thing? It looks the same, pretty much the same format. So uh, website, let's do, let's see, website and SEO help. So let's do generate website copy. Uh, what is the name of your product or service? Let's type in, um, uh, let's type in home inspection. Let's just do uh, A, B, C. And then let's do uh, sewer scopes, sewer scope inspection. All right, let's hit generate and uh, say, for example, you needed a paragraph uh, on uh, your sewer scope um, service. So uh, a lot of times people will have a, a paragraph on each service or a couple. So basically ABC Home Inspection provides professional and reliable sewer scope inspection services. Our team of certified uh, inspectors use the latest technology to thoroughly inspect, diagnose, and give you detailed information, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we understand how important it is to keep your home family safe, our team of experts, and then at the end, let home, ABC Home Inspection provide you with reliable, comprehensive sewer scope inspection. So there's your page uh, that you could generate. So you could say, uh, you know, sewer scope inspection. Uh, let me get to my website and I'll show you. I mean, I haven't done this yet. Um, but here I've got our uh, different uh, inspections and here's the page uh, that we have on sewer scopes. And I can easily go in there and replace all this um, and, you know, add your videos or what have you um, on, on a page where you can have a separate page for just sewer scope inspections. So uh, pretty easy to use it that way. So you can build website copy. You can build your whole website um, based off of the AI um, with that, let's see here. Uh, there's a, there's a company called bookmark that, um, 
is on here. So let me go over theirs. Um, this, again, I don't know too much about them. I just know that you can actually uh, build a website through Bookmark. Uh, how it's managed, how it's done, how they how they move. The, I don't know if you have to stay on their domain, how it works like that. I, the reason I like uh, WordPress is because I can take my website uh, to a different hosting provider if I wanted to. Uh, it's not stuck on one uh, site. So like if you have uh, like um, GoDaddy or Wix or um, let's see the other one, Squarespace, for example, uh, I'm not sure that you could actually take that to another provider. So uh, a lot of companies work, use WordPress. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's the best builder out there. Um, but here, let's go through this and see what this company does. Oh. Your what if I said your website could look like this without voting templates and spaces? Introducing Bookmark, your AI powered website. Builder. Start by answering a few simple questions business type, location, and goals. The stuff you know better than anyone. For the heavy lifting, we call on our artificial intelligence design assistant, or ADA for short. By harnessing the power of a global design team, like Perky Mouse, Ada builds your personalized website in minutes, not months. And our self service editor empowers you to make changes on the fly, getting you back to running your business. As people visit your website, Ada doesn't sleep, learning what sections, elements, or images accelerate your goals and automatically sending you smart predictions to improve your visitor experience with one click. Spend time running your business, not your website. Meet Ada at bookmark.com. Pretty slick. That's, uh, you know, web developers. Who knows? Is that going to, you know, take them out one of these days? Um, you know, I'm not quite there. I'd rather kind of like rather manage my stuff and have somebody else do it. Um so, yeah, so that's an example of how you can use AI. Uh, there's companies out there already that you can actually have your website built uh, via AI. Uh, I've never really used the process yet, but I'm assuming that there would be some forms that you'd fill out, uh, probably some questions that they're asking. You would populate that, and then it would kind of build the website for you. Um, uh, I might even have to check it out. I don't know what the cost is on it. Let me get to the cost here. Let's see if it has a pricing. That's a pricing. Uh, professional plan. Let's see. Monthly, um, looks like 20, 30 bucks a month. And let's see what you get here. You get the AI suggestions, drag and drop editor. So I think you're still having to build the website, um, which, you know, you can do that with WordPress. Um, but it'd be interesting to see how it actually works. Um, so anybody ever goes in there and checks that out and wants to provide feedback, feel free to let me know. Well, let's see if anybody else has any chat. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Uh, who's heard of Chat GPT? Uh, here's the freaky uh, AI robot that I was telling you about earlier. So uh, looks more threatening than uh, some of the other ones that I had, but uh, I wanted to show this up. Uh, so basically, Chat GPT uh, standing means Chat Generative Pre Trained Transformer is a chat bot launched by OpenAI in November of 2022. Uh, it is built on top of OpenAI, OpenAI's GPT 3 family of large language models and is fine tuned and approach to transfer learning with supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. Chat GPT was launched as a prototype on November 30th, 2022, and quickly garnered attention for its detailed responses and articulate answers across many knowledge domains. Its uneven uh, factual accuracy was identified as a significant drawback, however. Uh, following the release of Chat GPT, OpenAI, open it's like a twink, uh, tongue twister, uh, was valued at $29 billion. So uh, hasn't been out very long. And uh, here we are. So let's see, put a link and presentation need to bounce. Uh, yeah, so yeah, if you guys have to head out, you know, sorry, we're running. I'm getting close to the end. So bear with me, we'll get through this stuff. Uh, things to consider with ChatGPT, uh, it's relatively new. Uh, like I said, November, evolving daily, 
changes all the time. Like I said, I've seen some new features that uh, my developers added uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, trainings, uh, your creativity rules. So you can actually go in there and like I said, if you're creating blog posts, use that uh, trick that I, or that tip that I showed you on how to how to come up with a blog titles because I think that's the hardest part to do is to create those blog titles or those um, blog posts. Um, so let me go through here. Oops, I wanted to get out of this one. Let's see here. Let's square this down here. Um, you know, just this little tip. I mean, when I, when I found this out, I was thinking, man, this is going to make my job a lot easier uh, to create those blog posts. So somebody have a, another thing that they want to talk about. Let's just talk about, um, um, uh, is AI going to take over? See, look at that. That's the first one that comes up. Um, and here's the most most questions that are asked on Google. What year will AI take over the world? <laughs> Is AI a threat to the world? So there's a lot of people that are nervous about it. Uh, and, you know, because these are all the questions. So we'll, what will AI be like in 50 years? Uh, and here we are, you know, we got some articles on here. There's already blog posts that are posted on this. So if you're looking to target a specific uh, um, point in your business, uh, you could, you know, you know, focus on these uh, articles. Um, let's see here. Let's go into chat GPT. I wanted to show you that really quickly. Um, this is um, uh, our chat version. Um, this is really similar to uh, chat GPT. So it's an AI chat like GPT. Um, here is, here's a question that I just asked this morning. So I'm going to, um, type this in. So basically I'm in Southern California, uh, SoFi stadium is the new football stadium that they hosted the Super Bowl in, I think last year. And then this year's national championship in college, uh, $5 billion, uh, stadium, state of the art, best one I've ever been in. It's amazing. Um, and so I just came up with that one this morning. So I'm going to say, can you tell me what concerts are scheduled for SoFi stadium, uh, in, in 2023 in that's so in the year 2023 so let's hit that one and let's see what the response is you can see he's up there thinking all right sure currently the stadium has announced four major events for 2023 the first is taylor swift's reputation tour kicking off in june Next, the stadium will host a World Cup soccer match in July and August. The stadium will host iHeart Music Festival. Finally, October, we will see a return of the Rolling Stones for their No Filter Tour. So um, I'm hoping that this is right. If not, I don't know too much about the Rolling Stones and their tour. Um, but, you know, these are the major events that it's saying. Uh, World Cup soccer match, probably. Um, but anyway, from there, you could say uh, what dates are is the the Taylor Swift concert and say so hit generate. So you can continue this. And as you're typing more and more to it, it starts to report. So uh, let's see. Taylor Swift's reputation tour will kick off on June 4th, 2023, and will run for one week. So uh, it's not uncommon. I know uh, Harry Styles was in town uh, for like a week, every single night at uh, the forum. And uh, I was like, wow, the guy really sells out the stadium every single night for a week. But I could see Taylor Swift doing that. So, uh, so anyway, that's your open, uh, that's your uh, uh, GPT equivalent, again, built into our software here. Um, bonus app, before we get going, there's another one that is, uh, that I wanted to show you guys, and it's called Video. And this one is, uh, there's not a video on this one, but basically how this works is that you can take, say, for example, this presentation that I'm doing right now, I could upload that into video and it will come in there and it will cut out uh, portions of it. So here's like the, how it works. So import the video, uh, set your preferences, and then you can get snippets of this presentation that you could use to promote what you're selling uh, or promote the service that you're selling. 
And so you could take, I mean, this is going to be over an hour long. I could upload this video to this service and it will create snippets that I can go in there and I can take out and uh, post it. So um, yeah, free trial on it, easy to use, wide range of designs, highly productive. Uh, I haven't tried this out yet, but I'm going to try it. I don't know what the cost is on this one. Uh, 75 minutes uh, video upload monthly, um, 29.90 a month. That's 300 video upload minutes. Um, you know, if you're doing a long presentation like this, probably a while. But if you're just doing demos uh, on on certain services that you're posting, you could you know definitely look into it. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to go in. It looks like 75 minutes. I could probably cut this in there and then get some uh, you know uh, postings that I could use. So I'll actually try this out and post them. Uh, so that's your tip. That's your bonus. Uh, so what we covered today, uh, main topics, again, uh, understanding artificial intelligence, writing content, planning social, uh, showed you how to build a website with social media, uh, went over the chat GPT and video AI, um, you know, quote for today, uh, do something today that will, uh, that your future self will thank you for. So uh, be kind to everybody. Uh, let's go one more. Uh, if you guys have any questions, again, we're at the end here. Uh, feel free to talk to me. Uh, let's talk about how your business can utilize AI. Uh, if you want to schedule a virtual demo, uh, the website below uh, is uh, how you can schedule a demo with us. Uh, it's hooplacrm.com slash schedule dash a dash demo. Um, demos can take, uh, you know, depending on how many questions people have, uh, but we can do a demo and go over the product with you. Uh, website is um, Hoopla CRM. And you can actually go onto the website as well and uh, sign up for a demo. Uh, and then you can go over uh, the product uh, that we offer here too. So uh, thanks everybody for joining the webinar. Again, sorry for uh, not having that webinar chat working. Not sure. Um, I will actually, this is actually going to be uh, posted on Facebook. It's on Facebook Live right now as well. So you can actually go back and watch it on Facebook Live as soon as it gets uploaded. So uh, anybody have questions for me before we end? All right. All right. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, briefly go over the aspects of Hoopla. Uh, basically, we are, you know, I'm, what I'll do is I'll just show you the video if you guys want to see the video. Uh, this kind of goes over everything that uh, the software does. The most powerful website and the funnel or landing page folks. Hey, Emily, I'm going to go ahead and get started. SMS marketing with your campaigns. Yeah. Reputation management. Yeah. Two way text messaging, just like a cell phone, and pictures as well. A unified conversation inbox for email, SMS, social media inspiration like Facebook Messenger, Instagram DMs, Google My Business Chat, WhatsApp Chat Widget, all in one single unified conversation inbox. Isn't that awesome? Well, we've got a lot more. Text to text, unlimited calendars, appointment meeting reminders, automatic review requests, powerful and fully customizable workflow automation engine allowing you to set up almost any rules to automate almost anything. Brilliant voicemail drops, opportunity help lines, analytics dashboard, reporting, automated calls, call recording, phone dialing, mid call text back. But that's still not all. It just keeps on going. Hoopla CRM is truly the ultimate all-in-one sales and marketing CRM built just for small businesses like yours. Hoopla CRM, automate your business. So a little easier to explain. Uh, there's a lot of features, like I said. So if you guys ever wanted to do over a demo, uh, I you know be happy to go over uh, the demo. Uh, but basically, it's uh, you know that's kind of the overview of it. So. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'm glad that this was useful. Um, you know, I'm going to try to create uh, more of these and uh, help you guys, uh, you know, out with the marketing. But I think AI is something that's uh, can be to make your job a lot easier. So, again, thanks everybody for attending. Again, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.